Uh, now, again, this decision by the Supreme Court to lift that stay means that if Julius, Julius Jones is not granted clemency Monday, the state is going to move forward with his execution on November 18th. What's crazy here, uh, Kelly, is that you have uh, you had a, uh, a a parole board who said that his sentence needed to be commuted. Then the governor, he didn't want to act. And so therefore, he said, well, let's have a clemency hearing. And so the prosecutor still saying that we should move forward. But you literally have a board who is saying they were quoted. We have major problems with this case. We should not put this man to death. Oklahoma saying eh, what the hell? Kill him. And that is a huge problem in and of itself, right? And for me, it just feels like I, I can't help but think that if it were a white man in the same predicament, that they would move hell and high water to make sure that he was not killed unjustly um, at the hands of the state. But because it's a black man, it's a black body in the prison system already, who, who's going to miss him, right? Like that. It's what it feels like their logic is, when the fact of the matter is he still has a life. Um, however it is lived, it is still a life. And if you cannot, without a shadow of a doubt, make sure that his execution is justified, then you shouldn't be doing it. Further, again, Oklahoma has a history of botching death sentences. They shouldn't be doing it at all. Whether right. the death penalty is something that uh, should still be on the books or not is, you know, beside the point. But Oklahoma doesn't know how to do it right. So until they fix that, there shouldn't be any on the books at all. And this is why people, uh, Cleo, say there should not be the death penalty, because when mm -hmm. there is doubt, we should not be sending someone to the death, because you know what? After death, there is no coming back from that. That's finality. Well, this is an issue of the luck of the draw, as far as I'm concerned, because when, and often this doesn't happen <coughs> to poor people, um, and economically often that's black people, but not all the time, I should say. But uh, what I mean by the luck of the draw is when people are lucky, they get the assistance of, like, the Innocence Project and other projects to help get people out who, do, who don't deserve to be killed. And, of course, it, it's logical to say that if we're not sure of what they've done, they shouldn't be killed. However, that stuff doesn't matter. What matters is what kind of cards that the person is playing and what's there for them to have to deal with. Um, when it comes to the death penalty as a phenomena, I'm mixed on it. Uh, I'm not mixed about the fact that it's mostly black men who are um, victimized by it because this is a racist system that victimizes black men. And I used to, once upon a time when I was younger and more naive, be totally against the death penalty. I'm not anymore. Some folks need to be up out of here because of some horrible things that they did. However, what occurs in the final analysis is, is, is simply based on what, the, what, what they have to their disposal. And unfortunately, a lot of these people don't have powerful law protection on their side. So it's a sad situation when someone who is put to death didn't do it. But how do you know until you do the proper investigation? Michael. Okay, uh, okay, well, I think you called me. Yeah, um, you know, I, I was yeah, reading I did. about I did, this. Michael. Okay, yeah, you, you, your voice <laughs> was fading. Your voice was fading. It's hard to hear you, Roland. There's a delay. Um, okay, yeah, yeah you, I, okay. I first of all, you this. never, you never heard anyone say my voice fades. Your voice was fading. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't get him started, Michael. Right. But Don't yeah, you know, you know, this is this is Oklahoma number one. Okay. <laughs> this is where Tulsa, Oklahoma is. This is where the Tulsa race massacre was. But um I, I was reading about this and uh uh you know Tulsa has I mean Oklahoma has had a problem with uh executions in the past, number one. Number two with Julius Jones. Um, there, uh, should definitely be, a, a, it appears a stay of execution. And, um, you know, this, th this also plays into who is governor of your state because governors can give stays of executions. Okay. I don't think governor Kevin Stitt will, who's a Republican. I don't think he will. Um, so, you know, this is, uh, hopefully, uh, Julius Jones life can be spared, but, uh, and I, I'm one that because African-Americans 
one of the reasons because African Americans disproportionately make up those on death row. Okay, and uh, and also we see many instances where you have African American men have been in prison 20, 25 years, and then come to find out they were innocent and they're let go. You know, this is one of the reasons why it, it, and I'm against the death penalty, but I do make exceptions for like Dylan Roof gotcha. or somebody like that. You know, so but <laughs> hopefully <laughs> Julius Jones' life can be spared on this one. Time to be smart. Roland Martin's doing this every day. Oh, no punches! Thank you, Roland Martin, for always giving voice to the issues. Look for Roland Martin in the whirlwind, to quote Marcus Garvey again. The video looks phenomenal, so I'm really excited to see it on my big screen. Support this man, Black Media. He makes sure that our stories are told. See, this is difference between Black Star Network and Black-owned media and something like CNN. I gotta defer to the brilliance of Dr. Carr and to the brilliance of the Black Star Network. I am rolling with rolling all the way. Honored to be on a show that you own, a black man owns the show. Folks, Black Star Network is here. I'm real um, revolutionary right now. Wow. Rolling was amazing on that. Hey, Blake, I love y'all. I can't commend you enough about this platform that you've created for us to be able to share who we are, what we're doing in the world, and the impact that we're having. Let's be smart. Bring your eyeballs home. You can't be black on media and be scared. You dig?